So, Groupon have admitted that uh, they don't make any money, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I was just thinking about Groupon generally and the extent to which it's been a success or not in this country. Because, of course, when it arrived in the UK, all the usual American razzmatazz came uh, along with its launch. How many people actually use it, though? I, I don't know the figures. Um, but I'm just wondering whether uh, the fact that you know, we don't hear so much talked about it in this country may be reflective of a different culture when it comes to coupons. The US, of course, has kind of grown up with coupons and coupons have been uh, a much more socially acceptable part of uh, the shopping experience for many more uh, segments of society than arguably has been the case in the UK for many years. I think in the UK you're dealing with a historical legacy probably of uh, rationing uh, and the uh, inconvenience apart from anything else that came with that and the social stigma of being a person in what's still a fairly feudal society I think, having to get the coupon out of their purse to get 5p off a can of baked beans. Now interestingly talking to an American person about this, uh, she was telling me a little about the latest coupons that flash up on your iPhone and you simply show your iPhone to the checkout uh, in the supermarket and we were discussing whether actually the means of delivery, the channel, may change people's perceptions of the thing, the coupon, because here rather than this being something that, that appeals uh, to one part of society, you're instantly building in a kind of barrier to entry in the form of a smartphone. You can't get these coupons unless you have a smartphone. So just an interesting question there, I think, about whether the means of delivery can change people's perception of a thing per se. Love to hear your thoughts.